As you get closer to the implementation of a one-to-one -one program, questions around change management are sure to arise in your head and between other school leaders and within your environment. Who's going to lead the shift? Who's going to be part of leading that shift? What's going to be the role of teachers in leading the shift to this new ubiquitous environment that's going to expose children to so many new experiences? We decided to ask school leaders around the world for their opinions on how to best lead the shift towards this ubiquitous access environment. Making the change to one-to-one -one learning is often a massive cultural shift. That big a change must start at the top. I am of the belief that when we are asking teachers to engage in any initiative, there is a responsibility on leadership to make the structures work. I think the development of a, of a learning culture can't be done alone. It's got to be, it's got to be supported by the principal and the, and the principal and the leadership team have got to believe in it and support it. It would be naive to believe that, you know, there's a magic button that we will push and suddenly everybody will be aligned to the whole vision and will know the correct path in every step. But change can't only be top-down. Turning the vision into reality is all about having your early adopters, having the people that will go out and fly the flag for you. It's not just about a leadership team saying we are going to do this. It's about having teachers on the ground that are supportive of what you're doing and then are quite vocal in their support of you. 10 to 15 percent of teachers will become the pioneers or early adopters. But the real shift begins when the more experienced but less tech-savvy teachers start to see the positive impact of technology on student learning. They then become the change leaders. I think it's really important to give teachers permission to take risks. So really encourage them to, um, to be a bit out there with their um, computer use and um, to not be afraid. We actually build into our uh, pedagogical growth and development program the assumption that failure is a good thing. So we ask our teachers to try and implement three new ideas every year. Sometimes they're technological, sometimes not. Sometimes it's just a new innovative pedagogy. And they're able to try something and fail, and it's OK. Once people are invested in change, make sure there are opportunities and support to keep the momentum going. And so you have to have professional development. You have to have people having the opportunity and time to work creatively together. If you get people working in teams, they're actually professionally developing each other along the way. And it changes the, the dynamic when teams of teachers work together. Peer observation, I think, is absolutely critical to that. What's been really supportive here is, is putting people into teams. Um, and so it's a collaboration. There are a group of teachers responsible for a group of students and their learning. And so that's a real support network. Um, for people to be able to make those changes. Making the change to one-to-one -one learning takes a measured and systemic approach, but the benefits are well worth it. So my approach to cultural change is not something which is whimsical and um, difficult to define. It's about uh, putting in systems which are built around people and having them take part in the process of understanding and measuring what's going on and feeding that back and then seeing how we can improve collectively. And it is more interesting, it's more fun. It's different, uh, but it is fun.